Welcome to the BioVispera channel. Our topic today is on a perspective overview of the digital polymerase chain reaction technology. So let's discuss in this short video the roles of digital PCR in the area of biotechnology applications. In 1985, Carrie Mullis invented the process known as polymerase chain reaction, in which a small amount of DNA can be copied in large quantities over a short period of time. During this COVID-19 pandemic, health authorities worldwide has adopted polymerase chain reaction as a gold standard test to detect genetic material from a specific organism, such as a virus. For instance, the test detects the presence of a virus if you have the virus at the time of the test. The test could also detect fragments of the virus even after you are no longer infected. This complements rapid antigen test kits based on lateral flow assay principles. The concept of PCR was straightforward. It is a molecular copier where target amplicons are being reproduced in a laboratory tube where the DNA replication process that takes place in cells. The outcome is the generation of new complementary DNA strands based upon the existing ones. Mullis used the basis of Sanger's DNA sequencing as a starting point for this novel technique back then. Coupled with the foundations of a discovery in 1976 of a thermostable DNA polymerase, that isolated from the bacterium Thermus aquaticus found in hot springs. The DNA polymerase has a temperature optimum of 72 degrees Celsius and survives prolonged exposure to temperatures as high as 96 degrees Celsius, meaning that it can tolerate several denaturation cycles. In this scenario, the repeated use of DNA polymerase triggered a chain reaction resulting in a specific DNA segment's amplification. PCR technology performs biochemical level capability in amplifying a single DNA molecule into millions of copies in a short time. Amplification is achieved by a series of three steps. 1. Denaturation, in which double-stranded DNA templates are heated to separate the strands. 2. Annealing, in which short DNA molecules called primers bind to flanking regions of the target DNA. And 3. Extension in which DNA polymerase extends the three prime end of each primer along the template strands. These steps are repeatedly cycled 25 to 35 times to exponentially produce exact copies of the target DNA digital PCR or DPCR is a revolutionary technique to precisely quantify nucleic acids. For its high sensitivity and specificity, this technique has been widely replicated worldwide. Just like in qPCR experiments, the sample preparation in digital PCR includes the transfer of master mix, probes and primers to a nanoplate which is then followed by the addition of samples. Most vendors or biotechnological device commercial entities are selling the digital PCR system, having features of integrating partitioning, thermocycling and imaging into a single fully automated instrument which will be able to achieve results in under two hours. Often, vendors will provide relevant software analysis switches to cater towards analysis up to concentration in copies per microliter of the target amplicon sequences with quality control assessments integrated within the workflow. For instance, the patient specimen from a nasopharyngeal swab will be subjected to lysis where two fractions are generated. The first fraction the RNA extraction fraction is subjected to QRT-PCR where optimal results is critically dependent on the amount and quality of template RNA extracted, potentially resulting in false negatives at low input viral copy numbers. The second fraction which is the cell lysate can be directly quantified though inhibitors present in unpurified cell. Lysate decrease reaction efficiency and interfere with accurate quantification, potentially leading to False negatives. One of the foreseeable advantages of the droplet digital PCR technology is the sequestration of target amplicons and inhibitory chemicals into separate droplets, hence helping to overcome the difficulties. Overall, droplet digital PCR technology can simplify the overall workflow and obviate the need for a standard curve. In comes digital PCR, DPCR which is the third generation of PCR that enables absolute quantification through partitioning the reaction. 
highly sensitive and accurate in molecular detection. This technology has demonstrated applications like trace DNA detection, rare mutation detection, and copy number variation. Droplet Digital PCR or DDPCR is a recent technology that has become commercially available since 2011. As with qPCR, DDPCR technology utilizes the polymerase in a standard PCR reaction to amplify a target DNA fragment from a complex sample using prevalidated primer or probe assays. However, there are two key differences. Firstly, the technique involves the partitioning of the PCR reaction into thousands of individual reaction vessels prior to amplification, and secondly, the acquisition of data at reaction endpoint. These factors offer the advantage of direct and independent quantification of DNA without standard curves giving more precise and reproducible data versus qPCR especially in the presence of sample contaminants that can partially inhibit the polymerase and or primer annealing. Moreover, the endpoint measurement enables nucleic acid quantitation independently of the reaction efficiency, resulting in a positive-negative call. For every droplet and greater amenability to multiplex detection of target molecules. Since then, DDPCR technology can be used for extremely low target quantitation from variably contaminated samples, which would otherwise likely lead to undetectable target levels. When using DDPCR technology, the reference gene normalization is always recommended for gene expression analysis. Next we will highlight the top 5 benefits of digital PCR technology. Firstly, the increased sensitivity permits this digital PCR technology to pick up low abundant including rare mutations can be detected. Second, this digital PCR technology exhibits superior precision where very small fold change differences in the amplicons can be detected effectively. Third, this approach deploys endpoint measurement and the partitioning within the analytical platform permits high tolerance to inhibitors including RNAs and DNAs. Fourth, digital PCR do not require references or standard curves and it permits absolute target quantification. Fifth, there is high reproducibility of the results using this digital PCR technology. Given the large diversity of samples used in life sciences, the criteria for selecting between qPCR and DDPCR platforms for absolute quantification, gene expression or mRNA analysis requires the researcher to select the appropriate technology for gene expression analysis. The researcher should always begin a study by testing each primer pair in a one-tenth diluted pool cDNA or gDNA sample when using individual samples from each treatment group in the study set often in duplicate with qPCR under optimized thermocycling conditions and a no-template control for each target. Where presuming good, sigmoidal amplification curves are obtained with single melt curve peaks for each primer pair. Run the duplicate samples from the qPCR reactions on a gel to assess the molecular weight and identity of the amplicon and sequence if necessary. The researcher can also proceed to ensure all targets being assessed for reaction efficiency with a standard curve using the same pooled gDNA or cDNA sample being serially diluted based on the CQ value obtained starting from the concentrated sample plus 7 dilutions. In scenarios where primers fail optimization using DDPCR technology, the researcher should either redesign the primers or the experimental design and samples should be reassessed and undergo troubleshooting. To date, digital PCR has proven itself as a novel method for precise quantification of nucleic acids. It uses similar assay reagents as used in standard analog measurements but counts the total number of individual target molecules in a digital format enabling many applications that require high sensitivity and have restricted sample availability. In terms of applications where DPCR has been demonstrated or may be well suited, these include the possibilities in rare allele detection in heterogeneous tumors or other genetic-based diseases, liquid biopsies of solid tumor burden using peripheral body fluids, non-invasive prenatal diagnostics in viral load detection, in gene expression, 
copy number variation in heterogeneous samples as well as with assays with limited sample material, such as single cell gene expression. Moreover, DNA quality control tests before sequencing and validation of low-frequency mutations identified by sequencing. Commercially, several DPCR systems are available and the reactions occur either in a droplet-based DPCR system, such as the QX100 droplet digital PCR from Biorad, or to chip-based DPCR systems, such as Biomark HD from Fluidime or the Quant Studio 3D Digital PCR from Thermo Fisher Scientific. In conclusion, as a refinement of conventional qPCR, DPCR has the potential to allow a more accurate and sensitive measurement of the number of copies of target DNA, especially for low concentration and composite samples. PCR has been of major importance in both medical research and forensic science, and Carrie Mullis has been awarded the Nobel Prize in 1993 for his invention of the polymerase chain reaction method. If you like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to this channel for future updates. See you in our next video.